fact, mammograms are the only proven method for breast cancer detection and screening. Uh, I would recommend that this be done in women above 40. The reason being that when you're less than 40, your breasts are extremely dense and essentially doing a mammogram is pretty useless because a mammogram shows up dense tissue as a white patch. And essentially when we do screening, we're looking out for white patches that could be cancer. So in a very dense breast, we don't see the abnormality. So breast screening should be carried out um, 40 and above and 40 to 50 every year. That's the guidelines, and after, after 50 every two years. So for women less than 40, we we'll recommend ultrasound screening. Ultrasound is a non-invasive um, imaging method. It has no radiation involved, extremely safe, and this should be done on a yearly basis when you're after 20, uh, after 20 years of age. If you've got a very strong family history of cancer, let's say you've got a mother or a first degree relative, auntie, cousins, uh, with breast cancer at a young age, so 50, 45, 50 and below, I would recommend starting mammogram screening slightly earlier, possibly about 35 years of age. The other modality would be MRI breasts. An MRI breast is actually, the, um, it's actually very, very sensitive in picking up breast cancers. And in young breasts, very useful um, in, in addition to ultrasound to detect any lesions. Yes. So ultrasounds are extremely sensitive as well for detecting cancers, but they're also very sensitive for detecting non-cancers. So it, you, it's, ultrasound picks up uh, nodules such as cysts, um, fibroadenomas and benign lesions, and it helps to characterize that as well. So on an ultrasound scan, when I, when I see a patient with a lump, I can quite confidently look at the lump and say, this is not likely to be cancer, or this is likely to be cancer and requires a biopsy. So all in all, I would say it's a very useful tool. In fact, um, out in the fields when we go out, we tend to use ultrasound only um, in the remote areas to screen for breast cancer. So a very useful tool indeed.